Hi, welcome to Local Flavor. My name is Oyson Solberg. We're here at the Institute for Culinary Arts, and we're here with uh, Chef Michael Combs. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thank you for being here. So, uh, what, what have we got going on today? Well, uh, we're going to do a little steaming today. Um, we're going to do kind of, uh, let's say, an Asian style steam, I suppose. We're using a banana leaf, and uh, we have some fresh fish here. Uh, Wonderful. Yep, we have some nice local trout. It's farm raised. Obviously, we're in Nebraska. <laughs> there's, there's no salt water on there? <laughs> no. Oh, man, my wife lied to me. I swear to God. Well, this is a beautiful little fishy. So, uh, when checking for, for freshness of the fish, like uh, you want to check, uh, kind of poke it, make sure it bounces back real fast, mm -hmm. make sure the eyes are nice and clear. Uh, if the gills are in, make sure they're nice and bright and red. These ones have uh, gills out, so they're pretty nice and clean. This one just came in yesterday, so they're beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it is. It's very fresh. You can even look at the eye, and it has, still has that. Uh, it just screams like fresh. Around I it. am fresh. It, it is very fresh. The fish is cold. It's fresh. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna trim it up a little bit, just okay. so it'll be easier to wrap to wrap it up and whatnot. So I'm just gonna cut the head off. So I'm just kind of going in behind the the collarbone. I'm just cutting the whole head off. And just put the head in there. Now we can kind of watch itself get steamed later. I'm just going to trim the tail off. And so why, why do you tr trim these things? Do you have to necessarily? You don't have to. It just makes it a little bit easier to easier to wrap it up. Sure. Uh, it just makes it very nice and uniform shape and it'll just steam very nice and nice and even. But and you're not going to eat the fins anyway so you may as well try exactly. to get rid of those. And like if it's bigger fish then you can uh, save it because like the eyes are pretty tasty and the cheeks are pretty tasty. Sure. But like these trouts are so small, so it's it's not much getting out of there. So it's, sure. So it's not that big of a deal. So I'm just going to trim off the fins. We just use a pair of good scissors, and they'll come off super easily. And it still has that nice little uh, um, that little mucus membrane over the top, which oh, shows yeah. the freshness as well, doesn't it? Oh yeah. On this one, like it sounds weird, but you kind of want fish to be s slimy, but sure, good slime. So we just trim these trim all the little off. Fins off. And then uh, basically when steaming fish, like the fish skin is really only good if it's like super crispy. Right. So when steaming it, like you That's the way I like it. Yeah. Oh, it's nice and crispy. Oh it's good. So basically I'm gonna do a couple of cuts that'll just make it easier peeling the skin off afterwards. Okay. I'm just gonna kinda cut just the bottom of the belly out. Okay. Yeah, because that's kind of where the entrails and things were sitting and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, <clears throat> and it just makes it easier just peeling the skin off after. Gotcha, so it leaves a little open open there, so you exactly. can just peel it right off. Exactly, right. super, super idea. easy. Now you're just going to make a quick little cut along the, the back. You don't have to cut deep just to kind of get through the skin. Okay. And that's also so you can just peel the skin off one side or like eating one side and you can always flip it over exactly. and take the other side off. Yep. Because like once it's done then like you just grab a quarter and just pull it right ah, off. It'll come off super easy. Right there? So then it's basically ready to wrap up. So do you want to be the, the wrapping master? Sure, you bet. Uh, let's see here. So basically we're, we are not going to scale this fish. Though we don't really need to because the scales are so small. And the other thing is we're going to take it off anyway. So yeah. if it was much bigger we would. Uh, it was like a snapper or something like yes. that, but it's like, like Huge. big, yeah. And there's a way to do that. I, I like to use like those stainless steel sc uh, scratchers. It's kind of a, yeah. and then you just rub it on there and it comes right off and you don't have to worry about the scales going everywhere. Yeah. But that's a, another trick for a different yeah. day. You can um, just ask your, your fishmonger too and like they'll most likely just do it for you. Sure. It's, like, it's, it's kind of a pain in the neck just cleaning all that stuff. Like you'll got to have fish scales in the you, seal. You will like, be finding them like a month later. Oh yeah. That's not a fun thing to do. It gets uh, a little crazy. So uh, right now we have a little, we have kefir lime leaves. It's a kind of a nice, strong, pungent smell. And uh, it, it's very aromatic. So what we want here is we want a lot of aromatics, right? Yeah. Because uh, we were going to cook this in a banana leaf. And so you want all those aromatics and things to come out. And you want to be able to smell it. That's one of the whole points of, of doing this. I'll just help scent the fish. Exactly. Beautiful. It's all going to be trapped in this leaf. So 
We have we have that. We have a little bit of chopped garlic. We have a little bit of jalapeno that's seeded and diced very well. And we also have some uh, fresh ginger that's been diced as well. Yeah. And we also just have like a little bit of a lemon here. So yeah. uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these items here, except for this for right now. I'll bruise these here in a minute. Um, and I'm going to put them in this mortar and pestle here just to kind of uh, bruise these. That way get a good view. So these I'll just bruise very quickly before I put this in there. And then, so I'll, then I'll put them right back in. Because those ones aren't really edible. But like you want to try and just right. get the flavor out. Yeah, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to bruise them really quickly just to get the oils out of it. So that way yeah. it's even uh, more aromatic. Yep. Oh, that smells delicious already. Oh, look at that. It's, I just barely hit them in, and you see how strong that is. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yep. But on the other note, though, these things can be very powerful. So you got to be kind of careful yeah. with what you're going to do. But uh, basically, I'm going to add some of the other garlic to it to make my paste. It's basically just making a seasoning for the whole yes. hoopball. Then you can just serve it over rice or whatever it might be. Exactly. Like this. And I like to, to help, as far as help my taste too, I even add a little bit of salt. Just give it a little bit more traction in there. Yep. Good. A little pepper. I like to do my flavors in, the, in layers too. So anyway, all I'm going to do is I'm going to these. And if you've ever used a pestle, it's more of a rounding mortar pestle, so it's not rounding it down here. It doesn't, you don't get it to get too crazy, and it doesn't have to be a total fine paste that's perfect, you know? Yeah. Just enough to get out of there. And so, we're all ready to go, and what I'm going to, we're going to open this guy up. Yep. And, uh, oh, thank you. Oh, He's already got the fishy hands, so <laughs> works out great. I'm a fishy kind of guy, man. So we're going to season the inside, as you can see, yep. um, and I'm also going to pepper the inside. It's a really good, uh, good idea to do those things. And uh, when I put it in uh, there, I'll season, also season the outside. And nah, it's fishy, fishy. Yeah, and so you can see we're seasoning, seasoning the heck out of this fish, but you know, it's uh, going to be very tasty, and these and this is not a saltwater fish, so you know you it's need a little bit more really seasoning. Good. Awesome. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little banana leaf here. You can see how long it is. I mean, if you if it's a, if it's longer than what it needs to be, that's okay. I mean, you can always trim it. Even if you use a little bit more, it's not going to hurt anything. And most times, like you're just going to get these frozen anyway, so like you right. just kind of take out what you need and then just keep the rest. Exactly. Right. You can put it right back in the freezer. Yeah. And so there's a little bit of a stem on here you can see and so it doesn't matter whether you use a stem for the top or the bottom of this thing here but i'm going to move this pole just right here so it's on his reach beautiful so we can see everything very well so you just packing it all in there yep and just pack it a little bit on the outside too yep There's like a couple of these guys in there. So we're just putting a few leaves in there. Nothing crazy. Beautiful. Excellent. So a lemon, where you want the... Uh... Oh, I was thinking about putting the lemon right on the top. Beautiful. I'm going to slice it real quick here. Mm -hmm. uh, so lemon can be very strong too. It does have oils in it too, but at the same time, it's another uh, strong aromatic that we're going to add to it. So you can see all the aromatics that we've added to it are all pretty powerful, pretty strong. So, just like that. So, it's gorgeous. Yep. So we'll wrap this guy up. As you can see. And we're going to use just a little bit of butcher's twine. Just to hold it all together. Yes, sir. There. Thank you, sir. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath it. Forgive me, I'm like used to doing a roast and whatnot, but we can do it the same way as well. But all you really have to do is um, tie a little knot here. A loop. And so it's a little, let's get here. Or run them over. And it doesn't have to get crazy. You don't have to get crazy like I'm doing right now. 
Because this one, the, ben the, the Benelli isn't going to trap too much of this team. Like, it's more so no. just kind of kind of season it all. Yes, to keep all that all that in there. Yeah. All the flavor and whatnot in there. And we are done wrapping it right now. Okay. And I'll just tie this guy a little loop here. Nothing crazy. Gorgeous. Awesome. Yep. So Donald's then, basically ready to get steam. Yep, and then all we do is we'll we'll pop it right into the steamer there and uh, yep. takes just a few minutes and uh, that's it. We'll serve. Yep. So we'll set this one aside. We've got a, a couple other uh, shenanigans we gotta get done. So uh, just uh, stay tuned and we'll be right back.